Art is creative. Art. Art, Art is Art. sophisticated. Art. Art. Art is clever. Art. 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 Art is important. Art. Art. Art is profound. Art. 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 Art is unique. Art. 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 Art is the engine that makes us go. G'day, plant friends, and welcome back to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree, the channel where I am trying to grow an avocado tree from seed to the point of bearing fruit and documenting the process. And today we're going to do something slightly different. I speak fairly frequently about how it is important to prune avocado saplings to encourage their growth for them to grow more leaves and a thicker trunk. But what do you do when you've pruned them and you've got these leftover bits. Well, I'm going to be doing something today with that. I'm going to be pressing some leaves and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. Let's get to it then. So I'm going to need some freshly pruned leaves. Now I only pruned these about an hour ago. I'm also going to use some paper. I'm just using printing paper, but any kind of porous paper like newspaper, parchment paper will do. And a thick book and also some second tears or scissors. Now I am going to do a number of these. So I'm going to turn to the back of the book in just a second. But first, I'm going to get a piece of paper and fold it in half. Now notice how it's going to be, when I fold it in half, it's going to be actually be smaller than the book, which is perfect. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put a few leaves, not touching each other, through here. So I'm going to find good examples of leaves, like really good leaves in really good condition. Um, this one, it's pretty good. I've already actually pruned this one off. So I'm going to place that there and I'm going to find a few more. I can do different size leaves as well. And that's pretty well full. I'm going to fold it and go to a place towards the back of the book and I'm going to place it in there. Now once that has closed, that'll be closed, I'll stack some more books on that and then we're going to wait until it's completely dried out and they'll be nicely preserved and actually I can't find where I put that there. So I'm just going to make sure once again that the they are fully inside that bit of paper and I'm going to fold it over like that. And now we're going to do that for the rest of them. And now that that's done, I'm going to take this book inside and put it at the bottom of a stack of other large books so that it's nice and heavy. It's going to press it. It's going to dry the leaves out and we're going to get some nicely preserved leaves. And now we wait. It's been about a month now since I pruned back my avocado trees, took some of their leaves and put them in this book to be pressed. I've had this book underneath a stack of books so there's a nice bit of weight going on top and I'm ready to do something with them now. I probably could have done something a couple of weeks ago, they probably didn't need the full month, but it won't hurt them to be in there for a bit longer. It's not going to change their colour, it's not going to dry them out any further. Once they are dry, their colour is pretty well set and we can do something with them. I wasn't ready just with my supplies and things a couple of weeks ago to do anything, but I am now. So we're going to get to that now. So first of all, I'm just going to check how these leaves are doing. So I'm going to open up the book to the pages where I've got my bits of paper in them. A little bit tricky to find them. There's some. Okay. I'm just going to pull these all out to start with. just want to check that's all of them. It is fantastic, we're done with the book now. Now the moment of truth. 
And that has done a really good job. So what we've got here is a beautifully dry leaf that has got the moisture taken out of it. So the, the books have pressed and the paper has wicked away any moisture. And so this is a well-preserved leaf. So these, nice and flat, nice and dry, their color is actually beautiful. So it's almost exactly the same. I've got a, I've got a live tree here, which um, if you can compare the two, we've got a bit of different, like one is a little bit lighter, but really it's a pretty good color. I'm very happy with that. You can see all the veins there, beautiful. So I'm going to now just open up the rest of these so that I can see what I'm working with. I'm really happy with how these have turned out. We've got a really terrific preservation of these leaves. So now I'm going to have to do something with them. Now I'd love to display these on my walls. So I'm going to use a number of picture frames to do that. I'm going to have a few leaves in each and let's get to that now. So I'm going to need a picture frame for this. Okay, there's this one here. This is a, um, a floating picture frame. So it doesn't have a back uh, a background. And so I've actually got two bits of glass, which I will be able to put the leaves in. So I'm gonna open this up now and we're going to get crafty. And uh, you can tell that this glass is high quality because um, it's got a, <laughs> It's, uh, it's been cracked there, so they've just put a bit of glue, but that will be outside of the uh, photo frame, so I'm not too concerned about that. Now I want to make sure that this glass is perfectly clean. At the moment there's some glue residue, there's actually some dust from the wood inside it, and I want to make sure that there is nothing except the leaves in there really, so I'm going to clean that now. So I'm going to need a uh, paper towel with some water on it. So I'm just gonna give it a really good wipe, making sure it's all clean. And I'm actually gonna give them a minute just so that they are perfectly dry before I go any further. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes and now I'm ready to start arranging my leaves. So I'm gonna use a few leaves in each one and I'm just gonna see how they go. I'm gonna do some different patterns for each one. I'm gonna have the three frames in a bit of a series on a wall. Um, if I were to have these just one at a time, I could do whatever I want. This one looks quite nice, just as a centerpiece actually. But we'll um, have some different sized ones, I think. And just arrange them on the glass. Now that I'm happy with the arrangement, I'm just going to put this glass, the side that I cleaned down, the other side I can clean later, and I'm going to try not to get them to move at all, just so that they're nice and flat. There we go, and I'm going to put them back in the frame now. And um, it's, there's a little bit of dirt on the outsides of that now, so I'll give them a bit of a wipe as well. Um, but that is looking ready to hang. And so that's going to be my next step, putting that on a wall. It's looking a little bit smudgy, so I'll give this another clean. Now that um, I've just got this on the outside, I'll actually use a little bit of glass cleaner before I put this on the wall. I was a little bit hesitant to use the glass cleaner on the inside, I'm not sure if that hesitation is valid, um, but I was just a little bit worried about what other chemicals being on the glass might do to the leaves long term. And I know just water, um, once it's dry, is gonna be okay. So I'm gonna use some window cleaner on the outside of this now before I hang it up. I'm going to get to arranging the rest of these and then we're gonna hang them. So I'll see you very soon. And there we have it. We've got three frames done here. And also I did this one here. So these ones I did exactly the same way that I did for the first one. I didn't do that on camera because I didn't think you would want to see all of them. 
that's okay. And we've got this one here. This was a little bit different. I mounted this one on a little bit of paper with some double-sided tape, just a touch on the back so that it stays in place when it is upright um, because it doesn't come into contact super firmly with the glass there. But that is absolutely fine. I am really happy with how these turned out. And now I'm going to hang them on the wall um, where we can display our own homegrown artwork. To hang these on the wall, I'm just using command strips. They're strips which don't damage or mark the wall, which is great for me as I'm renting. I've done this in the past for floating picture frames and they've remained on the wall for three years now. So make sure you uh, put it on the right side as well. I've just put the uh, this one on the front. So I'm gonna, and also somehow this, this leaf you can't boot with. So I'm gonna just take this out, <laughs> flip it over. Thankfully I can do that and we'll be okay. Then I find a height to hang them. I got some assistance from my wife to determine if they were straight and I held them in place as per the instructions on the command strip packet. Then I removed the frames to let the command strips get stuck. After half an hour, I returned them and we were all done. And there we have it. Over the course of about a month, I have taken the leaves that I pruned off my avocado trees, dried them, pressed them, and prepared them for display. Thank you very much to my friends who helped me out with the start of this video. It was a little bit of fun, so thank you guys. If you would like to see who is in my video, I have got all of their links down in the description below, and I have left at the end of this video a playlist for some of my favorite videos of theirs. So if you'd like to discover some new creators or see some of my videos from someone that you already follow, please do check out those links and that playlist. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comments below and with that like button, I really do appreciate it. And if you would like to see any more of my stuff, make sure you are subscribed to Scott Gross and Avocado Tree. If you end up making anything like this with your plants or your avocado trees, please tag me on Instagram at Scott Gross and Avocado Tree. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you next time. Can you maybe not sit there, buddy? <laughs> Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.